Masushita Diner, Monday. Um, uh, who might you be? It's me, Konami Date. We met yesterday. I gave you my card. Oh. So, how can I help you? Oh yeah, she's definitely has the memory loss problems. Okay. I think that was done by this, um... By the whole entire, like, thing. Like, dying out. The, the district and whatnot with the chemicals or whatever the heck. I think that's what it's for. What happens with it. Okay. Is, is that all there is to it right there? <sighs> Just the one problem with this game is that I have to look at everything. I must! I must look at it all! To see what the heck is up with this. And possibly get dialogue choices. Dialogue choices are importante. Okay, come on. Oh, apparently you can do the counter. Okay. Uh, I think we're all good there. What the table? Okay, I think that's it. And then over here... We have to to morale out the kitty cat. We want good luck, don't we, everybody? All right, it's just her. It's Mayumi, Ota's mother. She has a picture frame next to her. Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? My boy's fine. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Okay, what about Odorika, um, man chocolate? Just to be sure, I decided to ask, um, Miyumi about the Odori Odoraki, um, man chocolate I found at the warehouse. Took it out of my pocket to show her. Do you know anything about this chocolate? Oh, you like Odoroki man? Yes, Odoroki actually. Man. I was hooked on them at one point. My Ota loves them too. When he was younger, he used to collect all the stickers. He was the best at it. Is that where the stickers for the that one thing was? Okay, about last night then. Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That can't be. Yeah, she was she was right there. Oh, Tom. She has a lot of memory I left problems. the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Not both your eyes? Uh, well... You know how. That's just a anyway, saying. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. Mm-hmm. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. Oh, no. We lost her. About the photo? <clears throat> oh, this? As Miyumi spoke, she turned the photo to warn me. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. I wanted to look at it again. Why doesn't the father have, like, a very good expression? That's kind of weird. <sighs> I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Ota. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. They were so kind. What? I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling. And that's what this photo is from. But isn't it such a nice photo? Kinda? Nice. I can't make out the That's guy. very nice, Mayumi. Like, legit? Okay, Mayumi, um... Where is your husband, then? Oh, who knows? 
Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. His name is Matsushita oh. Takaro. He just legitimately just looks terrible. Okay. He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. Oof. What? What is going on here? Okay, what kind of dream then? It was when my son had just started elementary school. I had Oda run an errand for me. And he was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. Oh, no. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Ah, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. Oh. Sate, really sweet. I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? Okay, I guess we'll do that, but I need to look at this guy. You know they added him in here. Or they didn't. Who are these people I'm missing? I hate this. Thermal on! Oh, brain stuff. Part of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. Yep. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Oh god, that's horrible. Dementia. Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. Oh, that's the worst. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's where those weird comments are coming from. Can she run a diner like that? It Great. isn't running. Oof. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Oh, dang. Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki District. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally... Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Oof. Yes. I can't believe it. I knew it was something bad, but my goodness gracious, like the whole thing. Well, is that all? She's just living her own world. I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Oh, jeez. I even stood and went to the kitchen. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. You're right. Jeez Louise. That's, this, this sucks hard. This, like, seeing this is just awful. It's in the kitchen. It looks like she's cutting vegetables or something. Yeah, this, this is rough. This, that's a rough thing, man. Because dementia just, like, it just gets worse and worse. And they stop recognizing people and they start living in their own little like area realm and stuff and it's just it's so bad it's so unbelievably bad i would never wish dementia on anybody because of how bad it is just legitimately enough there's a lot of terrible things you can do to somebody but dementia is just like just imagine being trapped in like a cycle that you cannot get out of and you are not aware of that's so bad. Jeez, dude. And then Ota has to deal with this. 
What the heck does Oda do for a living then? That's what confuses me even more. Because I could understand if he was like helping with the diner stuff, but like, not even that. Y you tell Are you me? okay? Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris' surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. Oh, that's good. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Oh. Yeah, the nurse worried. told me. <laughs> oh my god. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. It's very good to hear. She's such a good mom. Like honestly, I I don't I definitely don't see like her having like actual problems like being a mother. She seems like she's very supportive to a crazy degree. She's such a good mom. Gotta look at everything because it's green. I don't look at everything. Peekaboo. Pardon me. <laughs> when Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Seeing that curtain made me think about it. <laughs> curtain uses a divider. Equipment used for monitoring uh, vital signs. It measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. A bed. Oh, the most terrible sort. It's a bedside, uh, bedside table. Like a bedside manor. Yeah, I guess we're done here. There, there wasn't a lot to begin with. Okay. Yutomi is sitting next to the bed. She looks exhausted. I thought we were seeing Ota, but I guess not. Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. God, that's awful to hear. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. Yeah, what was the delay? And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect to tell me? Not necessarily, but... Could she... I... No. Game, don't do this to me. Don't don't make her out to be the, the Cyclops killer. So, Sejima? The politician? Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. Why does So look so happy? Okay, about Oda then. I am so thankful for Oda. No, words don't even do it justice. Oda saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. <laughs> I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. True. Oh my god, she's such a grateful mother. Oda was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one to say, but I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. I wouldn't say he that. He risked his own life to save someone else. I mean, yeah, but... His mother must have raised him well. Lots of nice words. Oh my goodness gracious. She... Iris lost her left eye. They haven't Ugh. found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. <laughs> but I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Huh? Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Monica Ui? While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I... I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. 
Was that one of the... That must have been very painful. Yes. Was that one of the... The killer's victims? That could be the case. That all those missing people that we have are actually the, the victims of the Cyclops killer. Because there's five total that we have. And we don't know four of them. There's supposed to be four. And then I guess the Cyclops killer themselves? That's very possible. And did Hitomi know? Monica? And was Monica one of them? Hmm. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. Okay, that's all it be. Time to go Abyss Headquarters. Are you gonna see stuff? Go do stuff. This is where we get the Oda confession. Like, I know where you've been! Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Okay. Um, wheel. Okay. Dashboard. These are tasty when they're golden brown. I believe you're referring to hash browns. Not dashboards? I'm pretty sure. Boxing gloves. A boxer puts his boxing gloves in the glove box. <laughs> okay, that's pushing it. <laughs> they like made the same joke before. This is stupid. The passenger seat. Iva, look. Iva is sitting at in the passenger seat. Well, do we precise an image of Iva sitting in the passenger seat? Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been this busy. If my body were made of flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. Oh, dang! The route has been a lot! You can't say something like that out of the blue. God, now it's awkward. <laughs> pillow lap. It's the best. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. About so. There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree, but there has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. I am more, more interested about... in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. So why would he use them? So trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. Okay, about Mizuki. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still, something's not right. Okay, about uh, Mayumi. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. But... She might not remember. Correct. Alright. There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Fingerprints were found on it. Oh dang. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. Oh dang. What? Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called eights. Eight is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. 
Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an aid store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? Hmm. It is possible. Well... Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. That was the boss! Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out oh, of good. treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. Okay, so are they gonna go grab him, or are we gonna go to the general ward? Because it seems like we're just gonna go grab him. We're gonna question him, aren't we? Central Hospital, Monday, 5.42 p.m. How are you feeling, Ota? You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. All right, that's good. <laughs> Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Boss got right to business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Ota seemed almost happy to answer. Maybe it was the drugs, maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation, or maybe it was because he saved Iris. Yeah, sure. Okay, a bedside table. Is it a bedside table. table when you move it away from the bed? I suppose then it's just a table. Oh no. <laughs> okay, TV! Hey, Date, when are you planning on leaving? The good stuff is gonna come on soon. Oh my god. We're not watching that tonight. Okay, uh... Window. And then we have chair. What else do we got? Uh, measures funnels, just all this stuff. All that fluff. Cupboard. Oh, now we can get bed. Hey. Date, I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. Will you sleep with me? Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Old woman? <laughs> what, what are you doing, Ota? What, what, what the heck is that about? Boss is standing on the other side of the bed. I'm kind of interested in Ota. In me? You protected the woman you love. <laughs> That's not easy to do. True that. <laughs> I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Hero? Aw, oh, sweet. Little? I'm 24. To me, you're still little. True. I think boss is like 36. Uh, buh, 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 buh. God, I wish I was as banging as the boss at 36. I if I did, I would have told you already. I'll leave this to you, Date. Okay, boss. Ota is lying down in bed. Who stabbed you? About the walk. Oh, yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was... I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Bobby. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. But you're not gonna get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. Ganesha? You swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. 
Why Ganesha? <laughs> you are not Ganesh. <laughs> um. Yeah, who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Okay, about that thing on Nile. That's... <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. <sighs> Dang, that I really can't has tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. Okay. Oh. About that thing. What happened after you left? Uh, yeah, what happened after you left? You mean after hitting you with the walk? Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could. But the car was driving away! I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. Okay, so it happened around there. Okay, after stealing it? I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police? I thought after I hit you. You shouldn't have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Okay, after running to the warehouse then. Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear, and I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up, and then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. The identity of the bear? Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? Like nothing, no, no I sound? Didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? God dang, he's still hiding things? My goodness gracious. Okay, about Odoroki, uh, man chocolate. I took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed it to Ota. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. Oh my god. This fool still has a bunch of things he's hiding. 
remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because something happened after. Okay, what happened? This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Oh. Whoa, you surprised me. I'm more surprised than you are. Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. You don't have a license? Shh. Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. Oh my god. Simp. Simp! That boy's a simp! After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet what she's just one of those bad idols you know that's that's all it is other side of the bed okay about that thing saturday at 6 15 p.m ota saw iris and renju together they were leaving the sunfish pocket building two and a half hours later ota witnessed iris driving renju's car what are your thoughts this is sounding really bad for Iris. It very much is. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? Date, Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. What do you mean? Okay. X-ray. Why does he have that? I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. I know. Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. You're going uh, to the Somnian. You can still get information inside his head. <gasps> yeah. The boss knows what she's doing. She know. She know, she know, she know. Oh, what to do? Oh, police headquarters, Monday, 8.15 p.m. Dante, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please do not go over it. Won't be a problem. But are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But... It's fine. Just get it done. Good enough for me. <laughs> I like up here just like, eh, that's fine. Whatever. I'm used to this. 
pretty used to breaking the law by now. Off we go into the storm. 